everybody, how are you? Welcome to my creative year 2019 and welcome to my muse. Um, the project that I'm going to work on, I'm just going to do a very small portion of it because I have new, um, some really cool ideas. And if you're hearing, hearing dinging in the background, it's because somehow some computer program has gotten a hold of my. Um, a hold of my laptop and it keeps sending me these stupid notifications and it's driving me crazy so after I'm done with this I have to go figure out how to get rid of that but anyway my muse for this month is a take on um, resin resin seems to be the big hit all um, across the crafting community it seems so I've been doing a lot of research and I have found the greatest thing I have found UV resin and you can cure it in a um, UV lamp that can be purchased extremely inexpensively um, on Amazon and I will link all the supplies that I use in the description below. Um, this stuff is really cool. And I'm going to be right front and honest with you. I don't remember how much this cost because it was a gift. So I don't, I don't know. But I do have links to it. And I haven't looked at the links in a while. So we're going to open this up for the first time. All right. This is... Lumino UV Resin Clear, Fast Curing, Self Degrossing High Gloss, 200 grams. UV Curing, Exposed to UV Light for two to four minutes. I can do that. Okay, so before I open that, this is what I want to put some resin on. This, um, I just grabbed a piece of chipboard just for the sake of demonstration purposes. Um, it's a piece of chipboard uh, about Thanksgiving. But I guess I just wanted to show some of the neat things that you can do with this. And of course, you know, nothing is opened and ready. Let me get a few things opened up. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. I'm going to take my little cup here. I'm just going to pour a tad of resin. I don't need a lot because I'm not doing a lot. <clears throat> this is by recollection, Recollections and it is an extra fine glitter. So I want to add just a little bit of sparkle. Okay. Now I'm just going to mix that up. If you can see that. Now the one thing you want to remember with resin is that it will um, it cures with UV light, which means even the lights on my um, above me here that I use for filming will help it to cure. So I want to move kind of fast. Okay, I think I got it pretty well in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it on my piece. You can see, I'll move this back just a little bit. And I do see some bubbles, but we'll fix that.
Okay, now I am just going to pick this up very carefully. And with my toothpick, I'm just going to spread it out. Doesn't need to be a heavy coat. This is self-leveling also, just FYI. I've seen some girls say wearing gloves and all that, but I guess I kind of live a little bit on the dangerous side. There is a slight odor to it, but not too bad. I'm just kind of sliding this around so I get all my edges. Let me try and bring you in so you can see what I'm doing. Let's just hope that I can remember to bring you back out. See how that's shiny? Bring this as far out to the edge as I can. This stuff is way cool. This is the first time I've really ever used it. Um, there's a woman out of Holland that I have seen use this and she also does acrylic pours. And I've been dabbling in that a little bit too. So that'll be, I'm sure, a muse. seeing that I didn't get a whole lot over on this edge. So let's just kind of bring that across. Bring some of this up. don't see any bubbles. But I see a spot that I missed here. Oops, sorry. If you just kind of look at it sideways, you can kind of look and see if there's any areas that you didn't get. And I think I'm going to give this a second coat, but it's going to be kind of thick. But we'll see. Right now, I'm going to lay this down on my parchment. Um, and this is just a piece of parchment paper I have. And I don't have, um, I don't know what else I would use, but cause I don't know what it would do. All right, yes, now I have to bring you back out. See, this is why I always forget to bring you in, bring you out. I'm just going to torch it real quick. Make sure I have all the bubbles out. No bubbles. Cool. All right, now I'm over here. Let's see if I can find a way for you to see this. Over here, I have my UV dry. Um, it's actually it's a fingernail dryer dryer um, for gel nails. All right, let's turn this puppy on. And 
pop that in there and then I will bring it back out when it's done. I've put it for 180 seconds. So in 180 seconds, mm -hmm, I'll be back. Here we go. All right, I had it on 180 seconds and I did that twice. So that's, I don't know, you do the math. <laughs> I can't, my brain isn't functioning from math right now. Here it is, it is hard as could be. So unlike your UT or your, um, you know, your glossy accents or, you know, um, whatever, but look at that. It's glittery. It's sparkly. And this is small enough that you could actually run it through a, um, as a matter of fact, let me do that. I've got one right here. This should run through a Xyron. I don't think it's too thick. This is my permanent one. Ah, it's too wide. All right, my other Xyron's packed away in the other room. All right, but you can run this through a different, you know, the bigger Xyron and then make a sticker out of it. But how cool is that? So that is using the UV resin. And I'll link to this in the bottom in the description. And so this is my muse. And I have a feeling I'm going to be playing with this for a long time. I just love how that, look at how that just glimmers and shines. And just a little bit of glitter in there just makes it, it is so cool. I love this. Anyway, um, the gal over in Holland, I will try and find, I will try and find her link. If I don't, I apologize. Um, and if I can find it later, I'll add it later. Um, but it was one of those things where I was just searching, searching and found that. And um, it was awesome. So anyway, best Christmas gift ever. And I can't wait to, uh, you to uh, do a few more crafts with this because I have some ideas in my head as to how this could come in very handy. So, all right, everybody, I am done with my muse for January 2019. I hope you have a great day and a great weekend. And remember, as always, be nice. It's really not that difficult. Bye-bye, everybody.